When we, th we think of uh, summer storms, we think of tornadoes and yeah, it's a slow progression for a tornado season to get up to Canada, but once it's here, man, we have some actually pretty impressive numbers, but why does it take so long to get to us? Well, we have to build the puzzle. One of the ingredients for tornadoes is some shear. We need to rely on a nice strong trough. Now, earlier in the spring, that trough is well south of the border, so it's interacting with that hot, humid, unstable air coming up from the Gulf. Uh, but it's doing it more so down in the Gulf states. Now, uh, that kind of Goldilocks zone uh, south of the border, as we get through June, July, and August, it starts to shift a little further north and encompass the Great Lakes and eventually the Canadian prairies. So in March and April, we look at Dixie Alley for the storms, and then we progressively look further and further north, and now we start to look towards Canada once it's in the summer. Now, uh, within Canada, July, by far the most active month of the year, but that's not the case for every province. Ontario's the outlier where August is actually the peak of the season. Uh, and that's important because Ontario actually sees the most tornadoes out of every province. Now, uh, let's look at the data window. Has the number of tornadoes changed over a period of time? We look at three decades of time. So we were going by the 1980 to 2009 stats, and now we're going from 1990 to 2019. And actually, Ontario and Quebec are the only two that have gone up.